How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Snap Judgment League. We have two games for you guys today. The winners move on to the top eight. Top eight's actually being played this week. Glazer is going to join me for the casting portion of this video as usual, but I'm going to do the deck breakdowns very quickly. Don't have a lot of time. I've been scrambling all weekend this weekend, so we've really had to squeeze in casting and everything where we could and still don't have a whole lot of time. So I'm gonna make these deck breakdowns and matchups very quick for you guys. Let's get into them and then get into the casting. The first matchup we have is between Jade Raptor and Goat Seeker. Jade Raptor playing a move bounce list. I haven't played move bounce in a long time, but I do remember really liking it. Um, this list actually, you know what? Let me pull up the correct list. It's not playing multiple men. It is playing a beast. Sorry about that. Uh, Marvel Snap Zone is bugging out. It didn't save my changes on the image and it showed the old, anyways. Playing a beast here, um, it's a bounce list. Obviously, you're trying to get as many of your move cards out, bounce human torch around as much as possible with Iron Fist, Ghost Spider, um, even bounce around dagger. Try to bounce those pieces back with beast and then play everything again for cheap and then move everything around again. And then try to end the game off with Heimdall if you can. Um, interesting list. I had a lot of fun with it before. I haven't played it in maybe, I don't know, four months, five months. So it has been a while. I'm curious to see how well it does here. Um, but move bounce, if you haven't tried it, definitely give it a shot. Going up against Goat Seeker, it's kind of a move versus move-ish. The Phoenix Force deck, um, I think Phoenix Force, Phoenix Force has the advantage here because of the different play lines, how big um, Phoenix can get, and then the Nimrod play lines. Both of these decks are playing Shang-Chi, so some uh, some crazy stuff can come out with Shang-Chi certain targets. Also worth noting that Juggernaut is in this move bounce list. You can kind of deny the Human Torch from being destroyed, the multiple men from being destroyed if you have Pryo with, with the Juggernaut. And uh, I think Juggernaut's just kind of a big piece for this matchup. But let's get to the game. Glazer, again, is going to join me, and then we'll come back here for the next matchup and the next two decks. All right, we're joined by Glazer for the Jade Raptor Goat Seeker matchup. Glazer, how you doing? I'm good. I just saw the Goat Seeker's uh, name, and it's your average blazing space bird. I don't think I would use that if I was playing Phoenix Force. <laughs> and uh, I think the matchup today is a uh, move list versus... Oh man, what did I say? I should probably Phoenix Force. Use. That's what I'm saying. Phoenix Pass. Force. Yeah, yeah, Phoenix Force. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't use the average blazing <laughs> space bird if Phoenix Force was my deck. That seems like a bad idea. Alright, we got a nice early human torch move. Juggernaut and Doctor Strange. That's interesting. Yeah, it's a, a both of the games today have interesting lists that people are running that I want to give a try. Nice. Ooh, Mindscape, that's terrifying. Here's a Doctor Strange, and then we're very likely to beast that back. So this is a, a move, but we're kind of going to I might blind. just beast first. Yeah, you beast first, right? That, that yeah. makes more sense. I like the beast first, because I want that Ghost Spider back, but I guess it doesn't super matter. Yeah, I guess it's a... Uh... Yeah, I'd probably beast first. I think he's also running Falcon in this list, so maybe... So you can get Ghost Spider back later, but you can only get this back once. Yeah. Oh, look, it's a Human Torch on Human Torch. Maybe it's a Move Mirror. Wait. <laughs> uh, I like the Beast here. And then... Yeah, yeah got to be Beast now. No, there's not another viable play. A I... Naked Enchantress doesn't make much sense. Yeah, I guess if you know that it's a Phoenix Force deck, you can try playing Juggernaut middle, but uh, you're kind of gambling there until you're for sure. Yeah. Yeah, Juggernaut in the middle would have been completely hilarious there. Yep. But just off the Nico, I don't know if you want to take that gamble right away. Yeah. What the? F that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Like, it's already dead. What are you doing? Hmm. Mindscape's going to beat you if they do have Phoenix Force, I think. Although it can only win one location. Oh, no, but then they'll have Heimdall. Yeah. And I guess that's still only one Phoenix for us, right? Here's a Ghost Spider. Yep. It's going to be pretty big. That, thing's gonna, that thing wins a lane. 
So the question is, can you win another? Go away, Ghost Spider, for some reason. I mean, you, you just... I mean, you lose wherever that decides to go, and that means your Human Torch is bad, right? Yeah, I don't think there's a play that the Goat Seeker can do with a Heimdall to win middle. <sighs> Uh, sure there is. You move Human Torch right, then play Heimdall. Well, yeah, yeah, but uh, I was thinking, use Human Torch to win one of the other ones and then move stuff to the middle, but there's nothing to move. Okay. So you're taking the chance that Shang goes left? I would move my Human Torch right here, not left, but what do I know? I also think, you, you know he has Heimdall. I would play the Shang somewhere. Well, I don't know. Heimdall can move it left. So you gotta play that Shang, right? Like, you have to play that Shang. Mm -hmm. You'd don't have prio that Shang is the perfect card you play Shang on multiple men um the question is where do you play them, right oh no what you have a 50 50 you got to say it on 50 50s yeah i think you only need like a 37 percent chance to stay in yeah on those. especially for one cube early like mm -hmm. that's potentially terrifying Nice early pass from Jade Raptor. It's always sad when you draw that. You top deck the card that you wanted the plus two on. So a reasonably similar move list. It wasn't running Enchantress. It was running Negasonic. I believe it's the... Um... Oh my god. All of my words have just gone. I used <laughs> to have words, and now I have no words. So... Hmm. Given... Yeah. I don't know how I feel about just dropping dagger cold like that. I usually um, wait for dagger. Yeah, from what yep, I've seen... Yep, the punish, max punish. From what I've seen, playing dagger later on turn four or five is uh, a bit better. Yeah, and here's another play that I'm not... Look, Jade Raptor made it to the cut playing likely a similar list to this, so you don't have prio, that's not a good play anymore. No. Yeah, it's just Vulture mid. Or Iron Fist. Uh, it feels bad to just play Iron Fist. Yeah, well, that's why you didn't want a dagger last turn, right? Yep. Like, because now your whole curve is screwed up, because you could um, drop dagger, get the plus two, then play Iron Fist, and you've now used all your whole energy. And now you're just doing that just to do it, right? Yeah. Do you have Phoenix again? If you have Phoenix again, it's just a feel bad. You know, Jade Raptor is inviting the Phoenix with that Phoenix Force Iron Fist. That's how Snap works. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this is tough. The curve is kind of thrown off by playing the early dagger. So... It's got to be a Snap by Goat Seeker, right? I assume he's going to play either Nimrod or... Uh... Nimrod, There's no point in playing Phoenix. If I mean, if you don't have Phoenix Force, I guess. But like, um, Phoenix Force plus one move is the same thing as Shuri plus Phoenix Force, right? Mm -hmm. You know they're not playing there. Why would you do that? Right? Am I crazy? I mean, maybe. He's... Meanwhile, that but that could win you the game if they play Nimrod on the last turn. Yeah, you gotta hold that. Like you want prio so you just play enchantress you right. gotta play enchantress right yeah, well, that's that, not good that feels bad but yeah i think you have to hold the juggernaut juggernaut's a really big tool uh in the yeah game. well juggernaut to basically say you can't destroy your nimrod wins the game right mm -hmm. says you're yeah i think you're just giving them out with the cloak with the yeah now Juggernaut's like early. Yeah. I don't even know what the play is now. I guess it's just time dull. Hope that's enough. They have prio. Oh, you have prio. So you're not even getting the extra value out of that dagger. I mean, this is you got a dagger, man. Never enough, right? No, I don't believe so. You got to move that dagger. You can't move that torch. Now, the torch, look, you'll win left by a lot. Do you? If they do uh, like a venom into a. So you'll have a 16 power human torch plus a 9 power plus 4. 16 plus 9 is 25 plus 4 is 29 
plus Iron Fist is 31. So he's like really into making sure he gets power from things and being very careful with Quantum Realm, and I think it's cost him. Yep. Like yeah. right now, with if you got Pryo, like right, you have Pryo, Juggernaut would auto win the game. Yeah, you really gotta either hold Juggernaut for these later turns against a Nimrod or play it early to, to stop your mm -hmm. torch or something. Yeah. It's a great card in the matchup. I just think he hasn't been using so, it as effectively. Yeah. Agreed. Wow, staying for this one. Oh. What? Oh, uh, it's the Zola play, so I guess it wouldn't have worked because you played uh, Cloak anyway. But yeah, obviously, in the reverse instance, you wouldn't have played Cloak, right? Yep. Yeah, it's, possible Cloak. That, it's possible this wins, by the way, because Zola is... Yeah, this wins because of Zola and not the other play. Oh. Barely, wow. Oh. Yeah, this um would have beat the Venom bullshit, but it... The Venom bullshit would have beat this, but the Zola bullshit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Playing the Cloak is always scary into an Nimrod and letting it move yeah. into an empty Cloak. lane. Cloak needs to just be a 2 2 or 2 3 that only works for you. It's silly that it works for both players. Yeah. Like, move isn't so good that it needs that downside. Mm -hmm. Although, it just won King of Swiss and went to the finals in yesterday's live uh, tournament. Supposed to buy Perry Mantle, or two days ago, as you're seeing this, dear viewer. Host by Paramental and Super Tech God. I haven't watched that. I, I've been meaning to go back. They have VODs up, right? Should be. It was a very, very good time. I went, I met them. I met Dara. I met uh, Speedy Snaps. Oh, nice. Bunch of people. Oh, that's terrifying. Uh, oh. Go, oh. Well, yeah. that's less terrifying now. Yeah. Um. I mean... Yeah, I don't, that dagger is just like an almost dead card until Heimdall now, so you just play the Vulture. Okay. Uh, I would play the Vulture in your island, however. What are we doing here? You don't, you have a limited number of moves. Yeah, I mean, I guess maybe his logic is he wants to move things to uh, the yes. island, have it sit there, but... But, I guess, but Heimdall, right? Like, Yeah. You're not getting... Well, if they have Phoenix Force already, you just feel bad, right? I don't know what to say. That auto lose. I don't. Yeah. Unless you get real lucky with your draws. But there's no snap, so. Oh, he's playing oh, that okay. way. So he's going to put it there. So, but like, now you have too much power there, right? Yeah, he's stacking too much power for Heimdall, I think. Yeah. No choice. That's. Yeah, okay. So you're going to try and get the extra plus one there. Jeff? Jeff would be really good on your island, but what are you going to do? Is Gladiator pull top card or random card? It's a random card, right? I believe it's a random card. It's a fair point. Here's a Dokken. Not very good in this metro, but it's a Dokken. Uh, I would play Dokken here, but okay. Uh, it's scary to play Juggernaut because I, I guess play they Dokken never and played Fal it. And Falcon for sure, right? Yeah. Yeah, the Juggernaut's a little scary. I guess they would have played Phoenix Force last turn. I guess but... next turn you're just playing Heimdall, so you're trying to be careful. Who's the snap coming in from? Didn't see. There's a way to look at the box and tell that I didn't understand when it was explained to me. I had no idea that was actually a thing. Yeah, the opponent retreated, so the snap comes in from Jake Raptor. I'm gonna have to learn how to read this box thing, apparently, because uh, I didn't even know. I mean, God forbid they just gave us a reasonable way to tell, right? Yeah. They clearly never considered a spectator in this uh, game. Oh man! Oh my God! Well, this is. I really wish we could disable the ultra rare locations and shit like this. Yeah, there should be a tournament mode where things yeah. like uh, so world ship, ego. That kind of stuff is gone to district decks, and uh, then the draw from I didn't, the draw from opponent's deck is okay. Uh, you get a really big human torch mid, though, so that's not terrible. You has anybody shown well. a Shang Chi? I think Jade has a Shang. Go uh, no, Go Go Seeker has a Shang. Jade does not. Ah, okay. But um, that will only be eight. And we don't know if the Shang was in the opening hand either, right? Yeah. Easy 
range here? Yeah, gotta be. It's the, uh, yep. That's the... Yeah, I guess only play have, you got, friend. If you have Heimdall, you you strange somewhere else. Strange Necrosha, but... Right. But you can... I mean, if you happen to draw Heimdall, I guess you just feel bad, right? Yep. Like, of every card in the game, you got a Heimdall. When Heimdall was removed from your deck, then... Second dinner's like, watching whatever. and trolling you. What the... Playing Rogue in mid is very strange. I'm gonna assume that's his only three drop. I don't care. Play it somewhere else. Yeah, that's... Nexus is a bad spot for that. That's fair. Uh, apparently, Alexa thought I was talking to it. Uh, that should be a Captain America. Captain America is just more power. Mm -hmm. I think they're tilted, is what the problem here is. <laughs> the second district X tilted them. Yeah, imagine playing for the top eight in a tournament, and you're just not getting... No, just, okay, that ma now it makes more sense. They were just putting out more power to Venom. Here's a Ronin. Yeah, no, it's Ronin. You don't have a choice. If he's got Chong, he's got Chong. You hold the Ronin for last turn, hopefully passing priority. I mean... Or <sighs> saying if you, if you drew your Chong before District X. If you drew your Chong before District X, you drew your Chong before District X would be how I would play it. What is this? That is a prio throw. That is a Phoenix Force. Wait, they've had Phoenix this whole time? Wow. Oh, they didn't have anything dead. Well, they got a blade. Uh, Lovely. Are you just dropping Shang mid if you have it for Goat Seeker? Yep. Open hit I'm, I'm running if I'm Goat Seeker unless I have something real good. Yeah. But what are you doing? Just play the Ronin. Uh, he's doing what There's I still do. still at... Where I like overthink things and I'm like, my opponent's gonna play Shang here. So I'm gonna I mean if they play power. Shang for two cubes, they play Shang for two cubes, right? Yep. If they snap you run, like And now it's not even not it's not even ten power, see? Yep. There, now it's tiny. Oh and you lost because they just added too much power and removed it with that lady Sif. Oh. I mean it's only two, so you without it that that lady Sif. You're screwed. Mm -hmm. But that Ronin ended up less power than the Apocalypse. Round five, high stakes. Yes. Right, uh, dagger. Copy, huh? Well, very useful America Travis here. Wait, what? Dagger left, and then next turn, Gus Spider Dagger again? Yes. Yes, I would. <laughs> that would be my play, yes. Oh. Yeah. Those yeah, are only multiple daggers cards. is a lot. You've got Heimdall right now, right? Like, multiple daggers is a lot of power. Yeah, that's your, your only play line. Your, your current hand. Hmm. Yeah, run. 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 Yeah, yeah Shang. You don't have Shang. Yeah, there we go. Well, you don't have to retreat later on uh, their snap. They can't retreat. Early retreat. I like it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Dagger and the Quantum Realm value. It is value. Yep. In this case, I do like the early dagger. That is a free. Well, dagger. now it is less value. Less value. <laughs> but, I mean, don't play Cloak, please. You get the dagger out so you can start moving things? or No, no reason. You can do it whenever you want. It costs zero. Oh, yeah, I guess you can play and then. Doctor Strange after or something. Beast hasn't been very useful. I mean, 
go Tinker's deck, I mean, I guess Zemo, right? Really mostly doesn't like um, that peak. Yeah, if they're just playing naked, that I'm snapping. Yeah, I don't know their necessary pieces. Or, or it was like, all swapped with P. I think I like Cloak before Strange, but I could be wrong. I'm trying to figure out if, uh, as Jade Raptor, do you snap when Peak comes out? Does that affect your opponent most of the time? The Zola is really uh, scary, I guess. Yeah, the Zola is terrifying. The Zola is the only reason you can. But, like, I might anyway. Cloak... Punch, yeah. Uh, that Iron Fish should be in Quantum Realm. Left, left, going. No. You are short on space if you don't play it there. There yeah. you go. What? Wait, what? No, 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 no. I don't get it. I mean, I guess I get it. I don't like it, but I get it. Saying they're going to play there, but they just played Shuri, so they're like totally not going to play there. Yeah. It's just setting it up for free next turn, I guess, but now Dagger's not on the board for that cloak. Yeah, but I mean, Although you again, set it up for free and you play the Heimdall, that Dagger's always ending up left. Yeah. Um, I mean, if they're going to make something big, Dagger can get big enough to compete with anything, though. Yeah. Two Dagger triggers for potentially, you know, ginormous power swing. All right. I don't hate this play. In hindsight. Although I guess if you're playing Heimdall, you're probably not playing Iron Fist again. You're just going to play Dagger. Sure you are. Heim Heimdall costs zero. The Iron Fist costs zero? Iron Fist will cost zero. Beast. Well, I know, but, but your Vulture's already going to move left. You're going to have enough power there, most likely. Well, no, because you've got the Cloak, so you're going to play the Cloak. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So that's... You won this game. It's too late to snap, but, like, that's just getting Zolid now is what's about to happen. You have Pryo, so you can do that. Yeah. Um, no, you're just playing Heimdall, friend. Wait, what are you doing? Just play Heimdall. This is confusing me now. Just Vulture, Iron Fist, Dagger, Heimdall? Yeah. No need to overcomplicate things. Yes, Dagger now into right. Dagger's not going to be big enough is your problem because they Venom. You're getting punished for not uh, doing the dagger thing and getting power last turn. How do you get more than 12? You need to figure out how to get more than 12 somewhere. I, oh man. I mean, what, what is the uh, Good Seekers only play here? Arnim Zola? You so... just, you just, yeah, you just don't move Vulture is the answer. Yeah, you don't need things going middle. Well, you need just enough going middle. Maybe like the Cloak Heimdall goes middle. It could be a six power. This is tough. So Heimdall has to be mid. I would leave Vulture and play Heimdall mid. And play Dagger there. Yeah, something along those lines. Okay. I would have left Vulture, but outside of that, it's relatively similar. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> Cloak keeps screwing them up. This is so confusing at this point. Yeah, we don't know what the hell the <laughs> opponent has, but 11 would be very beatable if it were beatable. As... Uh, Here's that's right, freeze uh, 11 up. is very beatable. Yeah. Yeah, you had to keep Vulture mid, was what really messed him up. Vulture mid would have won that. Oof. Bang. Yeah. Brutal. Yeah, Vulture mid. Yeah, I mean, still, still losing with that player, right? Nope, Vulture mid wins. What goes, what goes middle? Uh, dagger would be moving middle in this. Ah, case. so you go Vulture. Leave the Vulture mid. Put the dagger. Yeah. Right okay. Mm -hmm. Limbo. Phoenix Force more happy to see Limbo, right? 
And it's got plenty of turns to get his combo up. Although you don't, you still don't really want that combo to be Torch. I guess they don't have an answer for Torch. Well, we know Carnage is coming. I believe Code Seeker has taken this down in very close games. It's not going to look close in terms of cues, but the games have been close individually. It's a tough matchup. I think if uh, Jade used the uh, Juggernaut a little bit better, I mean, hindsight is obviously a little easier for us to say, but there's a few plays that he could have made with that Juggernaut that I think win a few more of those rounds. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. There were a lot of close ones where a choice here or there made the difference. Yeah. This was a gameplay determined matchup, I feel like. Hmm. Yeah. Nice easy Doctor Strange and Beast. You had those cards last turn, right? So why not keep Iron Fist mid so you can bounce them all? Yeah, that's a good point. A lot of little stuff around the margins. Yeah. That's why I mean, move is like I think move is one of the like three best decks in the game and like two people can play it at that stupid level. It's really difficult. There's so much yeah. decision so many decisions that need to be made. And it almost doesn't matter if he sees Zola now. With an extra turn if he sees Zola this is over. Pray for a juggernaut. Yeah sure. Drop your if you have an extra turn I would drop cloak first. Have you played a lot of move bounce? Yeah. I played it for a little, uh, a little stretch there. But... So I am just good enough to lose everything by one move. <laughs> um, like, and then no, like, like you can see, dear listener, viewer, friend, um, I know what the right move is the second after I've ended the turn. Oh, yeah, that's, that's my favorite. I played it before the undo end turn. <laughs> oh, no, you should. Yeah, you're still fine. Do the thing. does not matter do not play the full no no yeah, well. your only hope is to make that human torch so stupidly huge that like he can steal a lane and then win the other lane right so like you cannot play falcon yet you need to get that um next win yeah this is tough one card the, the zola is just gonna be a game winner i don't think yeah i don't Raptor think you can win answers. this no, this should be over. So as long as he sees it, right? Which is always the question. Yeah. I guess you're only in seven turns. Only you're hope. likely to see it, but if you can it's not juggernaut, guaranteed. juggernaut the Zola if you have Preo in the last other two lanes. But that's yeah. that's a big if. Well, got to see juggernaut too. Yeah. Drop that vulture too. No vulture. What are we doing? That is less power than Vulture. Play Vulture, please. Pretty please. And also probably move Dagger. There's too much going on for me. I don't play enough of this deck. Move stuff, play stuff. So That's where just I'm take going. the extra power on Dagger here. If your opponent has Shang, they're a hundred percent dropping Shang mid and just saying thank you. This game is over. I guess you, uh, that would be where Falcon comes in, right? There you go. That's what I would do. Yes. And then only play for Heimdalling and then dropping a torch somewhere. Torch or are you trying torch to get Heimdall, yeah. torch move? Unless you have Dragonite, you're Heimdall torching. Yeah, I guess you don't, you don't need extra power on that torch. It's already big enough. Possibly. Is that a Shang? Because that would be hilarious. He put everything there to get the Chong off. Nope. Oh. Whatever. Torch can still leave. That means that's Venom there. That's what that tells us. Unless they have Zola, in which case none of this matters. Uh, what are we doing? No. You have seven energy, which means Human Torch and Heimdall friend. Yeah, there's no definitely can't move this human torch enough to catch up to 100 what are you doing well, that just moves like a falcon or something yeah no. 
Human Torch, Heimdall, hope for the best. You try and win mid. No, stop doing that. That is not a playable card right now. Hear me out. Hear me out. Iron yeah. Fist, Human Torch. Get the Human Torch to 64. Ghost Spider, the Human Torch. It goes to 120 something. So mm-hmm. if Goat Seeker moves his torch right and then Zola's it, it's only at 112. So you can win right by leaving stuff there. And how do you win mid? A, your, your torch is bigger. Oh, okay. It's All right, worth a try. Here's Zola. Well, I don't. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, you had to try to move that torch twice. If you're going to yeah. try to compete. Yep. That's that. ED2, not nearly enough. Nope. Yeah, I think if you move the, the torch twice... You win, but then you're going all in on saying it's a Zola play. Mm-hmm. I would have gone all in on the Zola play. Yep. Like he was telegraphing the shit out of it, which means anything wins right, and you need to try and win the others. Mm-hmm. Ooh, good game. Yeah, great game. Head, head Let's get the, the next one. And the next matchup is Lafison versus uh, Ben Roller. Lafison playing this. Junk Annihilus Goblin deck. I don't think it's very common that you see goblins in an Annihilus deck, generally because Annihilus is meant to send over those negative power cards, and the goblins kind of do that on their own. But this deck's main focus is to just clog as much space as you can using the goblins, using debris, using sentry and hood with Annihilus, and then try to get off like a big cannonball to seal off another lane. I have not tried this deck before. But these are the kind of decks that interest me. So I think I'm going to be making a video on this on my channel. This is my channel. But in the next few days, I'll try to make a video on this deck. Let you know um, what I found with it, the play lines I like best. And, uh, you know, if I recommend it and put some gameplay and everything like that. So really interesting deck. Um, Again, haven't played it, but he is playing against Ben Roller's Silver Surfer um, with an early move package. So it's got Craven, Silk, Kingpin and Spider-Man, all these things, uh, Polaris, to get things moving on your opponent's side, on your side and your opponent's side, buff up Craven. And then of course the Silver Surfer package where you're playing Surfer and then a bunch of three drops. Problem here with for Ben Roller is with all of this junk, with the debris stuff, it really tones down what you can do with move. It, it cuts off the spots you can move. Silk ends up clogging lanes. Brood doesn't ever really get full value because if they get a rock in there and you fill up a lane with Brood, play Absorbing Man in another lane, you're running into space issues. And you need some space for Surfer to work really well. And Junk does not allow you to have any space. But again, interesting matchup. Surfer, I've always loved. For those of you who watch my channel, I've, I, I believe Surfer was the first deck that got me to Infinite a year and some change ago. So I love Surfer, I love Surfer decks. Um, I think it, it's going to have a rough matchup matchup here against Junk. So, again, let's get to the commentary with Glazer. Um, we're going to be doing this. We have been doing this every week. We're going to have the top eight next week. Some on my channel, some on Glazer's channel. And, uh, yeah, so subscribe if you like these videos. If you want to see some gameplay and a breakdown of this um, Lofus and Junk deck in the next few days, make sure you subscribe here. And, as usual, if you love all things Marvel Snap, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see you in the next one. All right, our next matchup is with uh, Laffy Sun and Ben Roller. We have a Junk junk Goblin Annihilus deck versus uh, Surfer Move. Yeah. We've got um, Cannonball, which makes me happy. I still haven't tried him out. It's been weeks, and I just have not found a deck that He's I'm so interested in. So good. I have so many decks that I love with him. I don't always play him because I have to play everything on Earth, but yeah. I should also, again, probably hit infinite. I'm chilling at 97 and I have had no time. I hit it uh, maybe three days or so. Playing lockdown once again. Uh, also, yeah, we're watching shocking. it in mobile format here. Um, let me know if you guys like this or if it looks terrible or whatever so I can switch things up. Lofison against Ben Roller, friend of my show, Benjamin Roller. Not Nothing against Lofison. We just haven't chatted. <laughs> 
man, the things are so much smaller on the vocal version. It's okay. We'll walk them through it. I know what all the cards do, I promise. <laughs> I'm not too sure I do. <laughs> I always forget a random patch. America Chavez plus two to the top card of your deck. Kingpin. Oh, there's the first buff to uh, Craven. Is Chavez good on uh, in these decks? Is there a lot of targets I like that it can hit? Uh, mostly brood stuff, but you're happy if it hits one of the movers too. And uh, Shaw. I believe this also runs Shaw. So it's not terrible, but I'd rather just run like Forge or Nova Killmonger. Killmonger is really good right now. Everyone stopped playing it, but it's great. Yeah, I just feel like Chavez is too random for me. I want to be able to focus what I'm doing. Yeah, I get that. I always appreciate the boldness of people being able to play that. Play the Sentry? The Sentry before they have Annihilus. I'm just like, so yeah. I auto-lose if I don't see Annihilus right now between the negative five hood and the void. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, when I whenever I play, I used to play like an Annihilus card is that? deck. Shaw. Sebastian Shaw. Yep. Shaw, who got hit by that American Travis. That's problem. So I would probably Professor X and just lock up the Tinker's Workshop. They get a lot of ground to make up. Yeah, I think if you're going to play Sentry without the Annihilus in hand, playing the Hood on the right lane, just so you can just stack all the negative crap in one lane. Yeah, and good. just say, if I got to give up, I'm giving up one spot. Yep. There's a Hobble Gobble. Hobble Gobble. A Hobble Gobble. Oh, turn seven. Right, right, right. You just that send seems it like a really good middle. play. I don't think you put it middle. I kind of like it here. I don't love it. The logic I have of putting it middle is he's probably well, not going to clog up mid lane. That's game. Hope into... Oh, wow. That's really bad for you. Unless that pulls Hobgoblin. It does not. Top deck Annihilus for a chance to win. You got to run. Bye. Oh, boy. Yeah. You gotta run. Bye. <laughs> Bluff snap. Do it. Not a spot to buff snap for those of you. Yeah. Oh. So if you move Jeff mid and play Cannibal right? No. Or Jeff mid and Cannibal left, we have a chance. Yeah, but they're like it's in you may just win. Oh, you don't have to move Jeff mid because Nebula's going to get bigger. All it's not. It's worth staying. Cannonball cubes. like wins. <laughs> you don't have Bryo. Cannonball wins unless they have a lie. Then they don't. Uh, Surfer, there's nothing to really Surfer that beats you. I guess that uh, Goblin would tie, but like then you probably win because they're going to fill that right location, so you're going to get a kill. Yeah, I would have. I think you had a win there. <laughs> Yeah, just didn't feel like it. Interested to know what was in, in Ben's hand. Surfer. So we're playing Surfer and one other card. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you kill that other card, and then Surfer is probably going right for that extra power, right? So that you can't get a Nihilist. This, uh, this cannonball sounds kind of fun now. Yeah. Uh, every week you say that now. So, yep. yeah. It's still kind of fun. I just it has not stopped being kind of fun. It is in <laughs> fact kind of fun. The new season started, so lockdown loaded up. You know what's good in lockdown? Cannonball. Oh, uh, what the f This is really annoying. I'm very sick of this card in tournament play. Thanks yep. for being in three of our games we covered today. And now like Sentry's a dead card, right? Yeah. Well, that's a really big hope. That's not as useful as it would be. Polaris, the rock over there? Yep. Or, or the debris, I guess. You can... Did he just get a second debris? Yeah. Yep. Silly. More rocks. Ben should probably run the fuck away right now.
What was it that gave Polaris? Uh, District X. No, that was it was stolen. Oh, then it's got to be um. Forget what the name is. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a full ass location. Oh boy. I would just drop Polaris right and call it a day. At that point, I feel like uh, what you call probably wins me the game. Whoa! Snap back! What are we doing? Oh, right. I do like the uh, plane debris here and the cannonball next turn. Polaris right does the same thing though. Yeah, but you're afraid of pulling the rock middle, and then they got some extra space. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay. Debris mid, debris mid does make sense. Huh? Debris left if you're gonna do debris though, because you already one yeah, even a surfer is only plus two. Oh, decides to go up Polaris, which is dangerous. It's all get out. Yeah, that's wrong. You're completely right. What? See, is it? You can hear us. <gasps> In the past? Yeah. Get a time. Nope, can't hear us. Oh, God. No, no, no. no. Maybe it'll pull the rocket. Okay. It does, <laughs> out of pure luck. That's bonkers. You should run, Ben. That's an oh, Agatha. he got Agatha. <laughs> Why did you snap back when you had Agatha? What are we doing here? Oh, boy. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay, bye, Ben. Oh, Ben was the first snap. You should have retreated on the snap back, Ben. What are we doing? Yeah. Like, what are we doing here? I've got a my very first league game I lost to an Agatha. They didn't play an Agatha deck. They got an Agatha and I lost them on the last. Don't game. brag about that. <laughs> <laughs> it was not good. It's okay. Uh, got lost down to the last life. I was lost on board and an Agatha came down. Put into Baxter building. Making sure you don't have prior, I guess. Cannonball. I like a nice demon mid here. Or goblin mid now. Ooh, Baxter. Wait. I don't think I understand. Yep. Like if you're gonna play hook and look, he's winning. I mean partially because of Agatha, but he is winning. Yeah, if you're going to play Goblin over there, you play the hood somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Man, just more junk. Yeah. <laughs> and more junk. No space on board. <laughs> Run, please. Ben is aggressively staying in here when he is not favored. Like, you see the squirrels, you know your opponent runs debris. There you go. Yeah, you gotta this, go. And your your broods are far less effective. Mm -hmm. Probably really annoying to play against junk as a surfer player. A move surfer player, even. Yeah, when you need the space. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, we know Absorbing Man is in at Ben's hand. Debris into Absorbing Man? I mean... Busted. More rocks. Here's a hood. Yeah, like, look at the Jeff play. Hold the demon for demon cannonball. Turn six. Yeah. This kind of matchup, by the way, is why I'm so high on Killmonger right now. They do this shit, and you're just like, Killmonger, go away. Yeah. Oh, that's no fun. No, you still have Absorbing Man, so like. Debris into cloning bats three times. Best of all. <laughs> we haven't seen the Annihilus at all. No, it has not come out hand. once. Yep. But still way ahead. Thanks, Agatha. <laughs> it's honestly, staying in it when you got Agatha is just. What? Run. Oop, snap from. Apparently not, uh, well, enjoying the opponent's retreats, not your own. I wish we could see cursors on a mobile screen, but obviously that's not mm -hmm. a thing. Forge. Copying Forge is interesting. More junk. 
Oh, they are doing pre inflictor right now. I would be fine if you get Shaw into the vats. I was thinking a uh, brood was coming down in like White Palace and then absorbing Could be. man. I, I guess it would. Mm, this turn four. I don't know. But yeah, Shaw into vats would be nice. Then next mm -hmm. turn you go forge and Shaw again. Yeah. That's or just fill things up with a bunch of broods. That works too. And then it's the absorbing man mid. Yeah. I'm assuming that we're going to see a uh, hobgoblin here. Yeah, I like this. You know they have absor this, absorbing man. They're, they're probably, probably going to. If I were them, I would brood mid. Yeah. Which is which makes this a really good play. Well, I guess they can go forward to brood. So no no absorbing man. That's fair. Wow. Interesting. Do you have surfer is the question being asked currently? That's not a good play. What? For the last turn? Oh, you're just going to try and win that that way? Okay. Yeah, just I don't win there. I don't win there. Player. Yeah, yeah, cannonball. Like... Do you need to play the demon there? There's cannonball enough. No, it's not quite. Oh, maybe. No, it's not quite. With a surfer. Not enough. Boom, win. Wow. Bend down to one life. This cannonball. The MVP of this series. The game that uh, Retreat Enjoyer lost could have been won by Cannonball. Uh, is this the type of archetype you play Cannonball in? That you've tried him? I mean, I play Cannonball in 50 archetypes. He's good in like a lot. He's just really, really hard to play around if you're filling your. But you have to fill, right? Otherwise, he's just. No, not really. There's like, like you can win a lane, Professor X, you can win a lane by going too tall. Uh uh. Hmm. Like, if you're so tall that nothing they can do matters there, right? Yeah. And you Cannonball punch him in there, you still won. This is a very bad location for Ben. Uh, if you're Ben and you have Brood, do you just fill up mid? Yes. Very, very immediately, because I think you're about to get hit with the f one. Well, that's that's scary. Yeah, you that's gotta play... Oh, I don't fine, know. that's so easy to kill. Ah, it takes the extra energy. Does that make sense? Bad luck. That's Not hitting that warrior me. falls. Uh, you're going to see a Professor X. Oh, fills up mid. Nice. Ouch. So, Debris Warrior Falls. And say you have one real spot to play with. I don't like this. Yeah. Well, it's going to move there anyway. Yeah, but I, I want to keep that silk in there as long as possible. It's fair. is going to save that nebula. Oh, oh, the hood went that way too. This is full side of the board. Yeah. I don't know if you risk the goblin. No. I think you just play Annihilus for stats. I don't know. That's uh, no, because that's the same stats as just playing the freaking demon. Yeah, but then you can dump some stuff next turn. I don't know. I don't, what, what do you dump, I guess? Yeah. Going with the goblin saying, beat me. Oh, 
Oh, he fills up his board this turn. Says, all right, this is as many stats as I got. What you got? Can you win all three? Oh, and there's an open spot. Uh, that's that's uh, not a yeah. yeah, that should be it. Wait, what? That would just get destroyed. All right, retreat. Can I Ben think... come back from <laughs> seven to one? I think I do play the goblin actually last turn. I would, I would assume my opponent's not filling up the board. I would have been wrong, but yeah. Daredevil is very strong right now. Although there is not much cheap clog. Although the opponent cannot get into Crimson Cosmos, so that's <laughs> nice. They've got a brood that does so in Silt, I guess. And Jeff. We can sort of get in there. Yeesh, this is a real bad end. A it's literally the entire top end. Ravana would have been nice to get that Professor X down and lock down another lane. Just knock down the Cosmos and be like, good, thank you. Although I guess they have Jeff again. Hey, Spidey can go mid too. I guess I do have some move cards, huh? Silk. Here comes a sentry with finally an Nihilus in hand. It hasn't gotten dropped yet, right? The Nihilus? Not once? Nope. Yet, to, yet to see play. It's my favorite Daredevil. Although Daredevil, like Storm, is a card with no bad variants. So there's one I don't like as much. They sold in the bundle. He has like 18 abs for no reason. It weirds me out. <laughs> I have to go back. I think I'm using this variant for mine. I think the first variant I got was the yellow one. I, like I just got that one. recently. I like it a lot. Yeah. I like the one in the rain a lot. There's a lot of good Daredevil. Daredevil. I miss playing Daredevil. It's been a while since I've run him. Well, I'll never split this one, so I need more. Board's been so bad again. Well, that's terrifying. Well, I guess you... you're deciding if you're a Nihilus or not based on. Uh... Yep. I mean, my answer would probably be yes, right? Like, this is a good example of when you can kind of, like, if you can get that void over there, you know they can't really top of that negative 10. So you can relatively safely play that cannonball, even if it's not going to kill. Yeah. Yeah, I like the, the Annihilus. You, you're not worried about any other shenanigans. You just want to get as much stuff you, over there as you can. You can also hop Goblin and then spend next turn going. Those are the two lines I see. That's like major options. Cannonball is at least a little bit hilarious mid and just say that is a one lane. Is. Forge into another Spidey. Oh man, I wonder what's in Ben's hand. This is these are some rough turns, I think. Yeah. This might be a hobgoblin um left for me. Yeah, I like that. Does it mid? Okay. Looks like we're going hood hood on Isla's last turn. I guess my problem is Annihilus here is for sure a 20 power swing in the right lane. Whereas if you play him next turn, it could just possibly be a 10 power swing. I mean, that's accurate. So I would drop the Annihilus now and make sure you get the full value out of that negative 10. Okay. Agreed by our Loki Lofison friend. To nine power Spidey, always nice. There's a lot of power. Yeah. In the middle. You have a lot of games to play with if you're Lofison. So, like, you don't have 
Oh, I would. Oh, yeah, that should win. Right? I think so. Probably would have done that left, but that's more dangerous. Does it win? That boots the silk and another Spider Man over? Like, yeah, depends yeah, what else is played, but yeah. Yeah. Is there a surfer and like a shawl? So I like that play, I think, in the it's a little bit more. It's like I don't think they're gonna do anything in the Crimson Cosmos. You just take that as a loss and say, I don't think, yeah. I don't think you can beat me left or yeah. The silk is stuck there, right? Like that's a lot of power stuck in the mid mm -hmm. if you don't play mid. That's what I would do, I believe. Yeah, I like this play. Mm -hmm. I think neither of the plays you're overly confident in, but this is probably the best one. Hope. Surfer. And now there's six power there, kind of all wins. See what I mean about not needing a lockdown, though? Yeah. Exactly that. Uh, yeah. No, then there's no like real way to play around that. I don't believe. Oh, that's fun. Okay, I'm playing. Do you have a, a good cannonball list for me to try? Or I have try seventeen. I have seventeen cannonball list. I'm gonna need to get. But try this one. All right, I'll try. <laughs> try this. All right. Uh, anyways, thanks Glazer for joining me. Um, I'm doing these these breakdowns on my own. So we'll be back next week with the uh, was it top eight? Top eight. Perfect. See you guys. Bye.